It goes without saying that you can't have a ski race without snow. And the Vasilopit has experienced too many snow droughts to sit idly by and hope for the best. So they decided to take destiny into their own hands. And so it's like either we get into snowmaking or we get out of the race because it's unsustainable. So it was a survival thing. It was absolutely survival. It was absolutely survival. And, and you know, at that point, 2016, the last time we were, we were, we were on the point-to-point -point trail in 2014, I think the time before that was 2011. So it was degrading because we're not working there. We're working it and we're not using it. And so it's finally, let's do snowmaking and let's do it here on our Nordic Center property and let's just reinvent the race and put it in a course here. And... Uh, to say it's going to be a fun course, it's designed for the race, and it's going to be fun to do. And we have a Nordic Center here anyway, and then we can be here all year and people can ski. Mm -hmm. Without snowmaking, it was like, well, maybe you can, maybe you can. Yeah. A lot of people have worked their tails off to create this race, to keep it going. And at this point, I absolutely don't want to see this tradition die in, in Mora, Minnesota. And we've been dependent on our snow farmers making the snow for us. Never heard of a snow farmer. Nope. Never heard of such a thing. We had talked about it for several years, even before I was on the board. And then we had a year where we literally didn't have any snow. Mm -hmm. um, and it had not been for Donnie and Luke sharpening the teeth on the Dodge and sending them out on the trail. They sharpened the, the little tiller teeth so they could grind ice into snow. And we were able to accommodate a lap on Moore Lake because the ice was nice and solid, but there was nothing on there. And so they literally made a snow cone on the lake. And it was at that point they just said, we've, we've just got to do this because if we don't have snow making, we are not going to have a race. So it starts with a well. Uh, we use groundwater. Um, we don't use city water because city water is too pure. Uh, we need a little bit of grit in the water. Uh, it, it gets pumped out of the ground and put into a, a large pond, man-made pond, and it, it's allowed to cool there. We circulate it so it keeps from freezing, but we we'll, we want to get the water down into the 30 to or 35 to 40 degree range. It's then pumped from a, with a low pressure pump to a high pressure pump. The high pressure pump pushes it into the snow gun, where there's also uh, high pressure air and it's the mixture of the air and the water as it comes out of the nozzles that will allow the snow the water droplets then to form snowflakes so that's that's making the pile the snow farmers serve as the latest volunteers to come to the rescue of a race that refuses to give in to mother nature's sometimes infuriating whims like so many volunteers that have come before them the snow farmers exemplify the type of ingenuity and resourcefulness upon which the Vasilopit is built.